Well, Chip, I don't know about you, but I love social media. Well, I mean, I use it, but that's really just a personal thing. That's not really a business thing, right? Not necessarily. It actually has a lot of great applications for business uses. Really? It does. Like what? Well, it's a great medium for communication. Hmm. You know that. People talk to their friends. Social media is a great application for conversing with your customers. It allows you to work connections and build relationships, network, provide customer service. There are a lot hmm. of different applications um, for social media. And this slide is so funny to me. Um, it relates all the different social media platforms with a donut. And yeah, that's some good stuff. But there's a lot of different platforms there. I mean, I see Twitter, I see Facebook, I see Foursquare. I don't even know what Instagram is. I mean, how much time do I have to spend working on all these social networks? You don't have to spend a lot of time because you don't need to be on every single social network. Oh, that's good. It's good to focus on one or two, maybe three different platforms based on whatever your business is. And so think about what the function of each social media platform is. And then think about how that applies to your business and then focus on one or two. You don't want to spread yourself too thin like any marketing. Okay, so which social media should I be focused on? Okay, well, if you want to go based on where your customers are, Facebook's a good place to start. There are over a billion users on Facebook right now. Wow. A billion people worldwide. There are over 500 million on Twitter. And then Google+, Plus, LinkedIn, Pinterest round out the top five. There are others, but depending on what your particular business is, you know, you can bring in additional platforms. But really, these are the top five. So even five sounds like a lot. I mean, how do I, if I don't have time to work on all five, which one should I focus on? Well, if you're working from a business to consumer type of business, I would say mm -hmm. definitely make sure you have a Facebook presence. If you're looking at B2B, LinkedIn might be the place for you. Mm. Um, if you're in a very visual industry, like say event planning or a boutique, Pinterest is actually a great option as well. Yeah, I know somebody who designs cakes for a living and they actually spend a lot of time on Pinterest with their cake photos. It's a great place to be. But at the end of the day, social media, it's where your customers are. Mm. Two thirds of adult consumers use social media. Wow. And if you're just looking at Facebook, 74% of internet users globally use Facebook every single day. Wow, that's an amazing statistic. I mean, I don't know of anywhere that you can get 74% of the people to go every day. Every single day. It's amazing. It's the most, the second most trafficked site in the world behind, of course, Google. Oh, okay. So, obviously, you should be using social media. And the reason is it's where your customers are, but it's also where your competition is. Hmm. And because of the way social media is set up, it levels that playing field really well. So, you can build up fans and friends and stimulate engagement, even if you're not a Fortune 500 company. Interesting. Yeah, there's actually a, a boutique in the town where I live that sells women's clothing. Mm -hmm. And most of their sales come from Facebook because they built this huge following. And every time they post a picture of the latest blouse or whatever they've gotten in, people just flock to, to buy them. Exactly. And so it's really effective for them. So they've been able to focus on building a great following on a particular platform. Mm. And they've been able to see that sort of revenue. As you can see in here, a lot of local businesses have pages on Facebook. A lot of public figures, restaurants, they're all different sorts of people that have these company pages. So according to this, like half a million local businesses have pages on Facebook? Exactly. And they have over three billion fans? Exactly. Wow, that's pretty amazing. It's, it's amazing. Like I said, it lowers that playing field. You don't have to be a huge brand in order to develop a great following. You just have to be present and interactive. Yeah, and I've seen sometimes lately, I've seen especially smaller local businesses like some restaurants that have a Facebook page but no website. Mm -hmm. So they're going with the Facebook route, I guess because it's easier. It's easier and it's also free to set up a Facebook page. That's true. And you don't have to set up a very expensive, flashy website. Mm. You can set up a great Facebook page and interact with people directly. Mm. Um, another great reason to look into social media, it's searchable. If you're on Twitter and using hashtags, or if you're on Facebook and you can conduct a search, Google+, Plus, same thing, it's searchable. You can get found on those social media platforms. Does it help with my 
SEO, my organic search? Absolutely, it okay. does. And different platforms in different ways, but it definitely can help you from an SEO standpoint. Yeah, I've noticed a lot, especially on Google, because I guess Google also has that Google Plus social network, mm -hmm. that it seems like people who are on Google Plus have a little bit of an unfair advantage in the search rankings. Exactly. Gotcha. It's, it's a little bit of preferential treatment, but... Uh, it's, it definitely can make a difference from an SEO place. Okay. Because think about it. You're directing links to your website from your social media pages. So That's those true. are additional reputable links. Gotcha. Another reason, it's shareable. You can share things easily among different platforms or bookmarking sites. It's a great way to share your content with lots of people and reach without having to spend a lot of money to distribute it. Hmm. It's real time. That's another thing you get. If you run hmm. an ad in a newspaper, you don't see the results on that immediately. If you hmm. post something on Facebook, you can get results in seconds. That's true. It's easy to measure your engagement. Um, you may not be able to measure ROI immediately, but you can definitely measure user engagement. You can see if something's getting a large number of likes or a large number of retweets or a large number of shares. So it gives me a way to kind of gauge what parts of my business customers are more interested in, maybe. Right. If I, I, I know one guy who sells uh, pizza and Greek food, and I, I suspect the, the pizza part of his business is a lot more popular than the Greek part of his business. So if he posts about both on social media and people are retweeting the pizza part, then that would be a way to validate that. Exactly. Okay. Um, so there are a few ways that you can grow your social media reach mm -hmm. and try to expand the number of likes or followers that you have. Um, the first place to start is to share it with your network, family, friends, business mm. associates, businesses you have relationships with. Existing customers, I would guess. Exactly. Share that within your network. Say, hey, like my page, I now have this social media presence. Interact with me. There's nothing wrong with asking people to take a look at your site. Okay. Um, add it to your print or your website or your in-store media if you have a physical location. Tell people you're on Facebook now. Tell people you're on Twitter now. Hmm. Um, make sure that's in all of your marketing materials. Okay. Um, another great way to do it is incentivize it. Give them something. There's a pizza place in my hometown, and they give you a free appetizer if you like them on Facebook. Oh, interesting. Now, how can they tell? They, uh, a lot of people, since they use the smartphones, they check, and hmm. you just show them your smartphone that you liked them on Facebook. Oh, interesting. It's very high tech. It is, uh, but they have a large, young consumer base. Mm. And so to get that free appetizer, I liked them on Facebook. <laughs> well, sure. Uh, and then there's also paid social media advertising, which follows that PPC formula that we talked about earlier. So you're paying for each click on the social media site. Yeah, I've right. seen those ads on the right side of Facebook lately. Right, and, and LinkedIn does it as well. And okay. then Twitter has sponsored tweets. And, and so a lot of them are starting to get into that that sponsored paid platform structure. I guess it's any way to make a buck for the social media platform. <laughs> exactly. Everybody's got to make a dollar. That's right. <laughs> um, so there's some interesting statistics about how businesses are using uh, Facebook and social media. So the average user, the average person on Facebook mm. has 130 friends, hmm. shares ni 90 pieces of content per month, wow. and spends about 13 and a half minutes a day on Facebook. Wow. So that's a lot of engagement. Those are a lot of opportunities to interact with your customers. Mm. But the average business page, 82% of them have less than five posts per month. Yeah, I've seen that with a lot of the small businesses that I work with. Uh, I think a lot of times they set up their page and then got busy and just kind of left it. Right. And you may as well not be there. If you're not going to use it as an interaction method, don't don't even bother spending your time on it. it it's... You have these opportunities with people checking every single day and spending 13, 15 minutes a day on it. Be there. Be mm. a part of that discussion. And since it's free, you might as well. Sure. Um, and then 65% of business page posts are text only. So no media, no links, no pictures, nothing really to interact with. Okay, so people are more interested in pictures and video and that sort of thing, people I People love pictures. I mean, funny cat photos do are always going to beat you in in uh, YouTube shares and, and pictures. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how to incorporate funny cat videos into my business, but if I could, I think I've got a billion dollar idea. Absolutely. So I want to go through some of the biggest missteps that oh, people okay. and businesses especially run into with social media. Okay. First, using the wrong platforms. We talked about you have a minimum amount of time to spend on social media. Right. So if you're using the wrong platforms, then 
that's a waste of your time. You, you should be focusing on something that creates a revenue stream for you or builds user engagement. Yeah, I guess that's always my big concern with social media is, is there actually an ROI? Can I actually generate more business from social media? And you absolutely can, but it's best to figure out how to do that based on whatever your particular business is. So focus on a few smaller platforms or focus on one or two platforms. Um, something that's going to actually generate revenue stream. So it's better to do the one platform really well than a lot of platforms really badly. Absolutely. Okay. Um, another big misstep is putting the wrong person in charge. Now, who would be the wrong person? I know a lot of businesses that just pick the first person that's under 25 to be in charge of their social media. or I, I've done that. Or some young intern or, or somebody no. like that. But there are legal ramifications that can happen if you put the wrong person in charge. Think about if they're making a post that might be about a competitor, that mm. might be slanderous. I could see that being an issue. So and you, you see those in the news every once in a while, you too. You do, and, and there have been lawsuits based on social media issues. So you want to make sure that the person that you have in charge of your social media knows of what they're doing. Okay, that makes sense. Um, posting at the wrong times. Believe it or not, there are peak times to post on Facebook or other really? social media. There absolutely are. So how do I know when is the right time? Test. Test, test, oh. test. Like any business or marketing model, you want to test. Um, there are different metrics that you can check that are free and included mm. on your social media platforms that will measure your user engagement. But mm. a, it, you can do it just a plain old way of trying and seeing if it works, and if it doesn't, try something else. So trial and error. Trial and error is absolutely a great method for social media. Okay. It doesn't sound very official, but it works. Okay.